In the premium crossover space, you have two options that sit above the rest. For our money, we think the Audi Q5 and Acura RDX represent excellent choices. But which is better than the other? Let's take a look at these two and see if we can crown a crossover king. For 2021, Audi has refreshed its Q5. You've got more power, some style upgrades, and better tech offered throughout the lineup. Over on the RDX, Acura hasn't updated it for 2021 since it was recently upgraded back in 2019. It's still a great option without anything new for 2021. On the outside, Audi has taken its best-selling model and made it look a bit sharper. The grille and rear fascia have been reworked. You now have OLED headlights available, and the plug-in hybrid version has two new color options, distinct green or ultra blue. The RDX, meanwhile, features strong fenders and nice paint options. We also like the A-Spec package, which adds 20-inch alloy wheels, LED fog lights, and some upgrades on the inside as well. It also looks best with the otherwise chrome trim pieces finished in gloss black. Slide inside the RDX and you'll find a well-sorted cabin space filled with top-notch materials. We don't love the touchpad interface for the controls, but Acura has been fine-tuning it and improving it year over year. It's better than what you'd find in, say, a Lexus, certainly, but it can't match the system found in the Q5. Though you do have tons of space and the optional ELS sound system, which is best in class. With the Q5, Audi offers a smartly laid out cabin available with great features from the base premium trim on up. A 10.1 inch touchscreen is standard across the board while jumping just one trim up to the premium plus and you'll find a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster and virtual cockpit plus. The tech in the entire Audi lineup is the best you'll find at the moment. The Acura is more comfortable with respect to its seats, but Audi has a better cabin overall. And it has more options when it comes to power. The Q5 is available with one of three engine choices when we add the SQ5 into the conversation. The standard powertrain is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder making 261 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. It uses a mild hybrid system and can return 25 miles per gallon in combined driving. Next is the Q5 plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, which takes that turbo four and incorporates a 14.1 kilowatt hour battery pack and electric motor and produces 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. It can travel up to 19 miles on electric power alone when fully charged, and it's as quick to 60 as the sportier SQ5. That sport-focused model uses a 3-liter turbocharged V6, producing 349 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. The Q5 versions both use a 7-speed dual clutch, while the SQ5 features an 8-speed automatic and all models come standard with Quattro all-wheel drive. Things are a lot more simple on the Acura side. You have a 2-liter turbo 4 that produces 272 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. There's a 10-speed automatic and you can opt for a front-wheel drive, RDX, or one with the Acura Super Handling All-Wheel Drive System, which is one of our favorite all-wheel drive systems out there. The Acura is also more simple on the price side of this comparison. There's one trim and it's $39,225 to start. All-wheel drive adds $2,000. From there, you can add the technology package, A-spec package, or advanced package, but you can't combine the advanced and A-spec packages. We say it's best to mix the technology package with the A-spec for the best RDX out there. You'll miss out on adaptive suspension, the head-up display, and a few other options, but you still get plenty of goodies. Pricing for the Audi Q5 features a much wider spread since we're dealing with a wider range of trims, powertrains, and options. The base price of a 2021 Q5 is $43,300. The base version of the plug-in hybrid is $51,900 before any state and federal rebates or incentives to drive that price back down. Finally, the SQ5 starts at $57,300. The highest spec plug-in hybrid and SQ5 are $61,700 and $62,500 respectively. 
This one is honestly a tough battle. The Acura RDX has a fantastic all-wheel drive system, amazing optional sound system, and it looks great in A-spec guys. And it's very well priced. On the other side, the Audi Q5 looks better than ever, especially with those new colors on the plug-in hybrid model, boasts usable EV-only range on said plug-in hybrid, and has some of the best infotainment tech in the game. If you can find a great deal on the Q5 plug-in hybrid, we say that's the route to go here. Make sure to price it out with the state and federal incentives and bring the price under the $50,000 mark and you've got one great crossover on your hands. But if you do go with the RDX, you haven't chosen incorrectly here. We'd opt for the Audi, but both choices here work so well.